Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the question what you can do if you have a solar street light and it's not working when it arrives. Maybe you bought it from a place where you can't return. I mean, these things are super large, super heavy, so return could cost a fortune. So maybe you want to check if you can repair it or maybe it has been working, it doesn't work anymore for some reason. Maybe it dropped on the floor or so. So I had this in this situation. It arrived in more or less good condition, but the packaging looked really terrible. But inside I couldn't see any real damage, but it didn't work. I mean, during the day I have seen when the sun was shining on the solar panel, I could see some activity here, but as soon as the sun went away, there was nothing to see anymore. And this was ongoing for a couple of days. So I was sure there was some serious problem inside. And so I opened the screw. So I guess you can do this with most of these solar street lights. There were just four simple screws to remove. To use this electric screwdriver. It took me just 30 seconds to remove. Then you have to be careful because usually this part is connected with wires to the battery and to the light. And what I've seen is that a cable was disconnected. Here in this case, it looked like really cut off. I don't know why. I don't see any animals inside. Nothing which would be able to cut such a thing, but maybe it was just torn by too much gravity when it dropped or mishandled. I don't know, but it was really cut here, totally cut like with a knife. And so I removed a little bit of the insulation with this pliers here. So I had the two endings uninsulated. And then I twisted both of the ends and used one of these self-soldering connections. Unfortunately, because it's so close, I couldn't use a heat gun. So I had to use this torch, like jet torch. Burned a little bit the side here, but other than that, it looks like it has made a good connection. So let's turn it on again. We long press here. Let's see if it does something. Yeah, okay, definitely turns on without any solar impact here. Okay, turn it off, put everything back. Let's see that we don't squeeze any wires. Don't wanna have problems again. So let's check again when it's here before we apply the screws. And so I'm putting back all the screws. I think it's a good idea to make it pretty tight because I mean, it's outside and it should be waterproof. So yeah, that was it. In my case, really seems to work. I cannot guarantee that it is always that simple, but it's definitely worth to check and try if you can just reconnect a wire. I mean, these things are pretty expensive, so definitely worth the two minutes opening this thing here and checking if you can see something. Maybe you could even replace the battery if you think that the battery is not good anymore. But uh, first thing, it's hard to check. And second thing, it's probably difficult to get a similar one. But of course, it doesn't have to be exactly the same battery. You just need the same voltage usually and then you're good to go. But yeah, that's it for now. I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.